Hello everyone and welcome to a new Idol Hunters video. Today will be a Chiyome Showcase. I have her 6 starred and will not be rolling for her because this is a rerun banner. I'm on server 15 and for the newer servers I hope this is very helpful for you as well as if you had did not pull for her earlier this can also be very applicable. I'll go ahead and start this video. That was a quick voice line from her. I'll be showing off the stats, how I built her, and yes. So, you want to build her super, super fast. I'll get into it in a bit, but the faster she is, the, the sooner, obviously, she can deploy her clones and absolutely just destroy her enemies. This is going to be showing off all the different pictures of her. Since I have her six-starred, I have all three. Pretty good. I like second one's pretty good. Third one's, in my opinion, the better one because you get the background. I built her speed. I do need some more gems on her to uh, the runes to give her more speed. But she's pretty good for uh, a non-whale account. While we continue on with these pictures, I'll go over what the Discord has to say about her. So, should you roll for her? Definitely. Absolutely yes. What is the recommended breakthrough? Around 4 star, which is around 400 pulls. Uh, this is extremely expensive for those who aren't uh, whaling or putting money in the game. So, I heavily recommend that you either pick Chiyome or Take. As because you're only going to be able to afford one of them with how much you have to invest into them. They are extremely great. They're extremely good characters. However, once again, expensive, expensive, expensive. Not for the faint of wallet. Where is she used? Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. This character is in a, a highly anticipated banner. Like Takanake, Chiyome is extremely broken. What makes her broken? Her passive allows her to dodge any, including AoE attacks, once, twice, and thrice at 4 stars per turn. Which is why you want to get her at a 4 stars, because her skill lets her dodge at, at 3 whole attacks uh, at 4 star. Her clone synergizes with Robin Hood, and when it dies, Robin's passive will also proc. You can see here I'm showing off the team comp I use. I use a freeze team comp, which you saw in my Catherine video, in which we are trying to freeze the enemy team immediately. Chiyome doesn't need to necessarily be on this team, however she excels at it because because she has all her clones. Uh, whenever a, they get a crit, or whenever anyone on that team gets a crit, they add another free stack to the enemy, which if you have a full board of Chiyome clones, you're gonna get you're gonna get a ton of crits on the enemy team and, and then increase that perma freeze. At EE30, uh, her DPS increases dramatically, as well as Chiyome's clones are able to attack and use skills to activate her ultra skill. She has a future UR upgrade, which is going to be like additional stars in the future. It's on the Japanese version of the game, but not yet released on the global version. However, this is an incredible power spike opportunity in the future. So at EE30, in my opinion, this is where she becomes a just absolute insane uh, space marine uh, when I'm going over the skills it, we'll, we'll discuss this so that being said she's susceptible to multi attacks burn so like a, a Honda team a strong Jubei or a Genki which is about to be released and then a Take's ultra skill because of the slam which I expressed in the Take video it is very highly recommended to pull for her her minimal breakthrough is uh, three star so that you can get her exclusive equipment however four stars recommended so you can get that that extra dodge those three total dodges however if you can afford to uh you have to six star her you absolutely have to six star her because if you have if you're going up against enemy chiomes it's the the tougher one wins obviously like anything else in this game we'll get right into their skills her first skill water clone Chiyome creates a water clone to attack enemies with the highest attack, dealing 64% of her attack and physical damage. If her team has a vacant position, the clone will randomly appear in one after attacking and inherit 60% of, of, the, of Chiyome's attributes. At level 2, the damage increases to 128%, and the inherited attributes increases to 80%, and at level 3, damage increases to 192%, and inheritance increases to 100%, so you essentially get a full Chiyome. Her second skill, uh, Chiyome leaps into the air and transforms 
into eight blades to launch eight random attacks. Each blade deals 30% of her attack and physical damage. Level two, physical damage increases 60%. And at level three, the physical damage increases to 100%. Her first passive, Transposition. When Shiyame is attacked, if her team has a vacant position, she will create a clone in her original position. And if there's no vacant position while the clone exists, she will switch positions with the clone and the new clone inherits 60% of her attributes and takes one attack in her place. This can trigger up to one time per turn at level one. So now at level two, the attributes inheritance increases to 80% and the triggers turn to two, which is the dodges, right? At level three, her inheritance increases to 100% and the number of triggers increases to three. So essentially, if your chummy gets attacked, she can create three clones, not take any damage, and then boom, that's three more clones, that's three more characters on the field, which can then will uh, copy Chiyomi's attacks. Her uh, second passive, her stat passive, is Chiyomi possesses an excellent understanding of water elements, which turn rise, meet her expectations, increase her hit by 3%, increase her uh, crit by 3%. Level 2, 4, and 4, and three, level 3, 5, and 5. This is pretty good. You want that crit, which complements Catherine pretty well, so you can get those free stacks. Her exclusive equipment. Imitation. Level 1, 15% HP. Level 2, 20% attack. And at level 3, final damage reduction, 5%. These are pretty good additional uh, multipliers, or additional stats. But at level 4, when you get to EE30, this is where she becomes, like I was saying before, a space marine and the fact that the clones will imitate the original attack active skill. Each clone will increase Chiyome's attack by 10%. So, the more clones on the field, the more damage Chiyome's doing. However, this is where not only do you have a board full of extra meat shields, essentially, they also do uh, Chiyome's, they copy her attacks, like you're seeing in this footage right now. Whenever Chiyome attacks, her clones just completely copy her, which is just doing an insane amount of damage to the field. I have her at EE40 because I wanted that additional 25% added to Chiyome so that a full board of Chiyome clones will just make her extremely powerful. Now, at level 6, that attack then becomes 50%. Now, this is fantastic. However, once again, extremely expensive because you have to EE50 her. So, if you can afford the 40, go for it, you know. But the 30 is uh, exactly, is where you have to get. It's actually where you have to get. So if you're going to go the three star Chiyome, make sure you have enough red crystals to get her to that EE30, which is around 7, 720 or is it, I think it was around 900 something. I'll, I'll put a chart in the description to explain what you need, uh, how many materials you need for whatever EE level. In this super arena clip, we have my Helen win team with Chiyome against a Honda fire team. Michael puts up a shield, we get Take shield up, we miss, we miss. I right, Merlin flames my team, we get Hannibal to attack, my Helen does a great job at dispelling the burn stacks, and Shiyome just lays waste to the back line, Mer Merlin's almost toast, Honda just got annihilated, Merlin's dead, Michael's dead, and then we get Take slamming Miyamoto, Octavius cleans the Hannibal, and... Chiyome clones lay waste to the Minyamoto. Here we got a traditional... Yeah, so I'm going to use a freeze team against this traditional wind team. Wind teams, if they don't have a Helen, super susceptible to a freeze team or a Honda team. However, if they did have a Helen, uh, Catherine's freeze cannot be dispelled. So, perfect counter to a anti-Honda wind team as well. And you can see they're all frozen and they're just open targets it's 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 shooting fish in a barrel with chiyome right here here we get one more attack let's see cyber hour again we uh, have already dominated this guy but this time we get to see my free steaming action against it michael gets the shield off once again and then at turn one we get the half the teams frozen already because my Catherine's stronger than the honda the honda realm fell to expand and chiyome just cleans up cleans up because we have two of them we get the three attacks and then with my zen on the team we get another three attacks <laughs> so zen and chiyome fantastic combo as long as chiyome is the strongest attacker typically if you have a zen with the take team take is going to get that bonus that redeploy because her shield gives her more attack and that i didn't express in the take video but if you wanted to double take zen's a good good addition to her so here we have a super arena and 
once again i think we attacked this guy in my uh, take video but here we got first clip we have my fire team against this wind team like i was saying earlier fire team without a helen is super susceptible to just being burned and perma stunned uh my honda barely survived that they are perma stunned and cooked Burn kills Octavius, and we clean that up. Okay, now we have my freeze team against his freeze team. Same same characters, except he doesn't have a Romulus, which I think is where he fails in this. Uh, my Catherine got his Catherine pretty good, and so now, even though his Catherine was stronger, and if she deployed her realm, my realm would be uh, usurped. So, luckily, since we have attacking advantage, we held it out. Half my team just got annihilated by his Chiyome, but with Zen, we got another four hits. And that kills his Catherine, so we're no longer in the deep end. And we clean up possible remains. We clean up some of the clones. Let's see, we have to hope not to get frozen. A clone gets frozen, and now we fill the board with Marchiome clones. Catherine needs to stay alive, so we get that second freeze. Ooh, close, close, close. Okay, hoping we get that freeze. Cleaning up some more Chiyome clones with my Chiyome clones. His Zen's gone, so we are in the clear. We don't have to worry about a redeploy. My Zen's dead, and we just have to make sure that we dodge. My Catherine died, but I think we get lucky soon. Let's go. Chiyama is just going at each other, hitting each other, dodging like a madman. That's why you need that four star, so you can get the three dodges. Very, very essential. Oh, we barely survived that, and she, there we go. Perfect. So as long as you're, 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 as long as your Chiyome is stronger than the other one, very great counter because you can just hope to out hit her. I go fast on this one. This is my anti-burn win team against another Honda burn team. But this is a weird comp once again with that Darwin in there. Take and then Octavius cleans the Helen and boom, kills the backline. And once again, Octavius got the assist layup and killed that Honda midair. That wraps it up for Chiyome Showcase. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer all of them down below. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.